you have already created a method in Lesson 6.1. In this lesson, you'll create a new class with some more useful methods. To begin, open the My Project Sample file from your Sample Files folder. And create a new class named CalculatorFunctions.cs. You learned how to do this in Lesson 6.1. This class will be used to perform useful mathematical functions. We are now going to add some properties to the class. Add a public double property called first number, another public double called second number, and a third public double called result. We are now going to create a method to add first number and second number together and place the result in the result property. Add the new method using the following code. public void add begin brackets end brackets begin curly brackets end curly brackets This creates a new method called add. The word void means that the method doesn't return a value, but you'll learn more about that in Lesson 6-7. Next, add the following code to the add method. Result equals first number plus second number. This will add together the values of the first number and second number properties and place the result in the result property. Next, create a subtract method that works in exactly the same way as the add method. The code for this is public void subtract begin brackets end brackets begin curly brackets end curly brackets, and then result equals first number minus second number. In the same way, add methods for multiply and divide. I'm going to do this by copying and pasting one of the existing methods. We are now going to make use of the class. Open the code behind file of calculator.aspx and remove all code from the button calculate click event handler. Now add the following code to the button calculate click event handler. Calculator functions, functions, equals new calculator functions. This creates a new instance of the calculator functions class called functions. Add the following code on the next line. Functions dot first number equals convert dot to double text box first number dot text functions dot second number equals convert dot to double text box second number dot text 
This sets the first number and second number properties of the functions object to the values entered in the text boxes. Now add the following code on the next line of the event handler. Functions dot add. This calls the add method defined in the calculator functions class. It will add together the first number and second number properties and put the result into the result property. To output the result, add the following code on the next line. Label result dot text equals functions dot result dot to string. This displays the value of the result property in label result. All of the mathematics on the calculator.aspx page is now done by your calculator functions class. Try it out now by viewing the page in your browser. You've now completed Lesson 6-5, Create and Use Methods.